Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, it's me LaShawn and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you decided to join me here once again. It's going to be a good day. It's going to be a great day. Only if you start off with a positive attitude and um, you head out the door and you're happy and joyful. That's the only way to start your day, and that's how your day is going to be. Okay, if you're new here, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, and also, you might not know anything about me. Maybe you did read it when you came in, but I'll just tell you. I am, um, my name is LaShawn, and I'm the mother of three. I have three adult children, two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I am a United States uh, Navy mother, a divorced mother, okay? <laughs> and I'm a scrub tech. I delivered babies for many years. But I'm disabled now, and I'm here on YouTube. And I make videos about saving money, being frugal, being a minimalist, and ways to um, try to make it from day to day. And we talk about the Lord. We talk about things that uplift and encourage. And all I wanted to talk about today is the fact that some of us are not doing what we say we're going to do. All we have is our word, our integrity. And um, I used to tell my son this all the time. Do things if people watching. Do things if they're not watching. And that's just a reminder for today is when you go out and see people today, you treat them with respect. And now I always bring that up about treating people with respect because a lot of people have forgot. A lot of people don't do. A lot of people feel as if they can talk to you any kind of way and treat people any kind of way. But that is not the Christian thing to do. You should not treat people that way. I believe that even if you're having a bad day, that you can still pass positive vibes to somebody. We all are going through something. It's somebody going through something. I just saw uh, where Nick Cannon's son, he's been battling that whole thing with the uh, encephalus and the, and the, oh my goodness, the poor baby. He is gone. Do you see what I'm saying? But Nick was fighting all of that. Well, his the baby mama too, but I specifically saw him on his talk show. I specifically saw him talking and we didn't know what he was going through. Now, that's classic reality social media that I always tell you about, but it's also coping, okay? Because people always have something to say, but it's also coping. And you do what you got to do to make it. We all do. Somebody right now is dying. Somebody will not take their, another breath. Everybody's going through something. Somebody's got a drug addict in their family. Somebody's got an alcoholic in their family. Somebody has somebody lost and you've been trying to save them so we don't know what you're going through but whatever you're going through you do not have to spool the negativity to the person you meet today you don't have to spread negativity you make the choice the world is full of choices and so many people say i did it because i had to well you had choices you chose to do that so that is the message for today to treat people with respect, kindness, be uh, treat people with humility. And if long as you are a person that has integrity, that's the word I like to use. I love the word integrity when you break it down and what it means. If you treat people with respect and kindness, and that's what you're going to get back. If you are a person of your word, if you say you're going to do something, then do it. I've always been that way with my children. Even, you know, a classic example is I never lied to my children. If we didn't have it, we didn't have it. If we had it, we had it. I was as honest as I could be with them, and I wasn't trying to make friends. I was trying to be a parent. I was trying to be a role model. I was trying to be an example. And I'm going to give you a quick example. It's not uh, the whole course of what we're talking about, but it gives you an example. When I was married, we got the kids up one morning and said, let's go. Ooh, it's early. Come on, let's go. We're going to go to the beach. We told him he was going to the beach. And we just told him, oh, just keep your clothes on. You can sleep in the car and, you know, 
put your suit on when we get to the beach and the kids will sleep and a couple hours went past and they started to move around we're not at the beach yet what's going on and the first person that woke up was the baby he was uh, <laughs> he woke up he said i see i see mickey mouse i see mickey mouse <laughs> anyway if you're from florida and you're driving and you're going toward um disney <clears throat> You start to see the signs. The signs start to come. And you say, oh, you're such and such amount of miles from Disney. Then you see a lot of Disney and Mickey and Minnie. So they, they knew where we was going. But I never told them we were going. Because I didn't know if we could do it. So I didn't want to hype them up and let them know we were going. And then only to break their heart tomorrow or the next day. I share that example with you not to tell you, ooh, ooh. I took my kids to Disney because I took them to Disney a lot of times. My life was different back then, but I had integrity. I had honesty. I had my word, and I, that meant something to me. I learned that in the military. I learned that from my parents, and, you know, they had problems of their own, but they raised me the best way they could, and that is what I'm trying to do with my children. Now they are little adults. <laughs> I have no grandbabies, too. I'm still trying for all you that's sending me messages. All three of them say no, 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 no babies. So I am 52. I will be 53 this year. No grandbabies. Mm -mm. My sister about to have a great grandbaby, okay? I'm, I'm so behind. But anyway, back to what I'm saying. You know I get off track. Be honest with people. Be authentic. Have integrity. And treat people with respect. The world would be so much better if everybody just treated people kindly. And I say it all the time, and people are like, come on, Sean. Some people off the chain. You can't be nice to them. But I beg to differ. You could be nice, and then they can spew their negativity. Then you keep on walking. You keep it moving. You keep it pretty. You keep it professional. I learned that in the Navy. It's a lot of things I didn't like, but I couldn't react to everything. The problem is people react too much. They don't take in what is said. Think and make choices. That's all I want to remind you for today. Think, make choices, be humble, be kind, have integrity, and all of this is possible when you keep your word. Keep your word to people. Be honest with people. If you can't do it, you can't do it. Don't sugarcoat it, okay? Ain't nothing worse than somebody depending on you and then you fall through. Mm -mm. That's not the way you, you should be living your life. I speak from experience. I'm trying to live a life of integrity and treat people the way that I want to be treated. And that's the way I leave out every single day. So enough of that. Treat people with integrity. That's our message for the day. Okay. Be kind. Be courteous. Let's breathe in and breathe out. You ready? Let's go. We thank you, Father. We thank you for this day. And I want everybody to have a good day, have a blessed day, and treat people with respect, okay? Have a good day, Positive Patch. And remember, God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.